Hello everyone. In this video, we will see solution of producer consumer problem using semaphore. Producer consumer problem. This problem states that there is a share memory which is known as buffer, and this is a limited buffer. So in our example, this buffer can store 10 data items. So producer, this process will place some data in this buffer, and consumer, it will consume data from buffer. So during execution of these two process. Uh, if they, these process access this buffer at the same time they maintain one count variable as well that variable actually tell them how many elements are there in buffer so if some shared variable or shared buffer used by multiple process at the same time it would result in a inconsistent state so in order to provide a solution for producer consumer problem we need to make this thing sure that only one of them will enter or will access count variable or this buffer at a time so we are going to see what are the constraint for the solution what are the requirement which we are going to fulfill with our solution so first thing is that producer if a buffer is already filled in that case producer has to wait this process will start waiting and if producer is producing something at that time you will not allow consumer to consume data same thing with consumer is buffer is empty in that case consumer process has to wait and if consumer is consuming something at that time we will not allow producer to produce any data now in our solution we will use one semaphore which will ensure this thing that one of these two process can enter in their critical section so in that case what will be the critical section piece of code where these two processes are accessing buffer so that code actually we are referring as critical section so one semaphore we need to ensure mutual exclusion constraint second semaphore we need to maintain number of item in buffer so this is semaphore actually used by consumer Consumer will see if this number of item in buffer is zero. In that case, consumer start waiting. And if this number is more than zero, in that case, consumer will start consuming data. Third semaphore will be used. It will specify how many empty spaces are available in this buffer. So this actually semaphore used by producer. So in case if this empty is equal to 10 in our example in that case producer start waiting and whenever this semaphore become less than 10 in that case producer start producing data so let's have a look on solution now so we are having a buffer this is a code of producer and this is code of consumer so first is instruction we are having a p operation on mutex so P operation it will decrease the value and V operation it will increase the value. And this producer item and consume item this will be considered as a critical section. So let's see how these two processes will execute. So we are considering let's say producer executed this instruction. So when this instruction is executed it will decrease value of mutex. And initially value of mutex is 1 initially value of empty is 10 so meaning of this thing is that initially all spaces are empty there is no data available in buffer and full it will specify how many data items available in the buffer so initially there is no data that's why value of full is 0 value of empty is 10 and mutex value is 1 so this instruction after executing it will change this value mutex to 0 producer executed its second instruction so what is this instruction this instruction will decrease the value of empty so why we need this instruction in case if there is no space left in this buffer so in that case empty will be zero in so when empty is zero in that case producer will start waiting in this instruction so this instruction make sure that in case if there is no empty space available in buffer producer will start waiting so in our case empty is equal to 10 it means all spaces are available 
so it will decrease the value of empty semaphore and it will make it 9 and then it will produce some data and it will put some data in buffer now let's say when this process this producer process in its critical section at the same time consumer also start executing so when consumer will execute it will decrease the value of mutex so initial value of mutex was 0 and it will make it minus so how this p operation works it will decrease the value and in case if after decrement value of semaphore become less than 0 in that case this process start waiting this instruction make this process to wait so here our consumer process will start waiting because this value become less than 0 and here this producer will continue its execution after producing a one data item it will signal semaphore full so we, this v operation also known as signal and it will simply increase the value so it will increase this value of full and full now become 1 so this full is specifying in buffer there is one data item available and this empty is specifying in buffer 9 empty spaces are available so after executing the last instruction it will increase value of mutex so initially this value was minus 1 now it becomes 0 so as soon as this producer process will make this mutex 0 this instruction will be completed this instruction if uh, this is instruction is waiting why because mutex value was less than 0 now that condition will be false and consumer will execute its next instruction so p full what it will do before consuming any data first it will decrease the number of element available in the buffer so we are having only there is one element in buffer and this instruction will decrease this value to 0 and 0 is not less than 0 so in that case consumer will continue its execution so now full value becomes 0 consumer will consume this data after consuming this data it will signal the empty which will increase the value and at last it will increase the value of mutex so these both process access their critical section but one by one so this semaphore actually ensure this thing only one process can enter in its critical section so the solution we have discussed this solution actually has some problem what is that problem the problem is if instead of producer if consumer start its execution first what will happen now so let's say consumer con executed first instruction so this instruction initially mutex value was 1 when this instruction is executed this instruction will make mutex value 0 now here consumer will decrease value of full which was initial, uh, initially 0 it will decrease the value it will make it minus 1 minus 1 is less than 0 that's why a consumer start waiting so this process will stuck this process is waiting and now now let's say after some time producer want to place some data in this buffer so producer will execute first instruction and this instruction will make the value of mutex to minus 1 and if a semaphore value is less than 0 in that case that instruction p will start waiting so this producer also start waiting so these both process actually waiting and they they will create a cycle so this solution is not a good solution so what we need to do we will shift our instruction in such a way that consumer is not allowed to enter in its critical section if there is no data in the buffer so what we have to do we just shift pmt and p full as a first instruction and we will shift them as well now if we look at the same scenario again we want to see whether consumer is allowed to enter in its critical section before producer or not so let's say consumer will execute this instruction p full full value is already already zero and when this uh, instruction will be executed it will make this value to minus one so let's say this value become 
minus 1 and whenever sigma 4 value become minus 1 consumer will start waiting so consumer has not entered in its critical section now when producer will produce some data let's say producer executed this instruction so pmt it will decrease the value of this sigma 4 it will make it 9 now producer will pr execute this instruction this instruction this instruction will decrease the value of mutex so here actually this value initially was 1 it's uh, wrongly entered here 0 so this pu mutex it will make this 1 to 0 and it will enter in its critical section it will produce a data here let's say this is a data then it will increase the value of mutex it will make it again 1 and v full it will increase the value of full so the value of full is minus 1 here it will make it 0 so whenever this consumer will see this value is 0 consumer also start executing its instruction so this is the proper solution for producer consumer problem using semaphore thank you very much for watching